everybody. Welcome back to Brit's Big Plans. I am Brittany, and this is my channel, obviously. Um, I thought I would take you along today to uh, unbox, quote unquote, the supplies that I got from this store. So I just discovered it. If you are anywhere within driving distance of Virginia Beach, go and go now. They have all of the things that you see online, but in person. And so I actually got to look at the things that I bought before I bought them. So the first thing that I got was I got some ink. So I got a couple of boxes of ink that are Ferris wheel press. So I got this ink charger set that has uh, grape ice drop, lady rose and bluegrass velvet. And then I also got this 38 milliliter bottle of the Spruce County Post. So I thought I would swatch these for you guys. First of all, can we just talk about how beautiful this packaging is? I mean, just, just look at it, just look at it, right? So, Spruce County Post, beautiful bottle, as always, with Ferris Wheel Press. And their website describes this as like a warm green. So I'm going to, oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. All right, so there's that. Now let's get a little bit on this here dip pen. So that is a really, really nice green. It's a little cooler than I was expecting. A little more gray in that than I was expecting to see, but I like it. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the Lady Rose Trio collection, these ink chargers. And if you've never purchased inks from Ferris Wheel Press, you can get the big bottles or you can get these sets of three corresponding colors there go, in these uh, five milliliter vials. So I'm gonna give those a try. Let's see, how do I even get in there? couldn't reach in there okay so we have the bluegrass velvet the lady rose and the grape ice pop so I'm gonna start with that one oh that's nice well oh, that's super nice Okay, it has a little bit more red than I was expecting, which is a nice surprise. That is lovely. All right, I really enjoy that one. Ooh, let's just talk for a minute about that nice uh, dual tone that we're getting with the drying. Okay, the next one I'm gonna open is the Bluegrass Velvet which is this gorgeous turquoise color. It's almost the same color as the box, at least according to the sample picture. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is potentially the best plain blue that I own. super nice. I am so glad I bought this set. Okay, I'm definitely thinking I might need to buy a big bottle of that bluegrass velvet. That is just fantastic. All right, the last one is this Lady Rose, which is like a dusky pink. I've seen some people write with it and it is beautiful. Beautiful. 
It's a very warm color, which is nice. It's not like uh, bubblegum pink or Barbie pink or anything like that. It's uh, a little bit, a little bit of brown in there, maybe a little bit of grayish tones. Okay, so, ooh, look at that bluegrass velvet. We got a little bit of purple shading there. I love that. Okay, so these are the inks that I bought. I am in love. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I am in love. Um, and I also got some blotting paper because I don't know about you, but uh, I smudge everything like everything <laughs> that I touch once I've written with a fountain pen. So uh, I'm tired of that. So I got me some blotting paper. I also purchased this um, Caron Dash highlighter pencil. And apparently they are going to stop making the yellow, which seems a little um, dumb to me if you're going to continue making highlighters you would think that you'd go with the standard highlighter color but whatever not my business all right so the final piece that I purchased from this store the piece de resistance if you will is I purchased my first Bennu fountain pen all right so the color that I got was ocean breeze So I will say that it comes with a converter and um, a long cartridge. So that's a bonus here. All right, can we just take a look at this and ignore the ink on my hand? Look at this beauty. So the cap screws on, you can post it. I will probably not be posting it. This is the fine nib. You can see the F is a little bit hard to read, actually. I thought it was just part of the decorations on the nib there. But this gorgeous purple, um, it may be a little hard to see in this lighting, but this purple is a glittery purple. And actually this aqua color here glows in the dark. So. Um, you can use one of the long converters, which is really nice. So it's gonna hold a lot of ink for you. It's a substantial size pen, but it's not too heavy, which I find really nice. So I am adding this beautiful piece right here to my collection. All right, so this is my haul from a pen lover's paradise in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Highly recommend if you're ever in the area and you have a thing for fountain pens, that you visit, they've got Pelican, they've got Sailor, Pilot, so much ink as well, um, and quite a few notebooks with fountain pen friendly paper. So definitely recommend taking a trip there. They also have an adorable dog that uh, will greet you when you come in the door and when he gets used to you, likes a little bit of pets. So thanks for joining me today in my uh, testing out of my new stuff. As um, I said before, my name is Brittany. This is Britt's Big Plans. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, sign up for notifications so that I can let you know when I post my next video. Thanks guys, bye.